Good morning. I'm Denise Wheat, and I'm the director of preschool ministries. And this is a special day because it's Mother's Day, but also because we have these families that are bringing their children to dedicate. The preschool years, as you know, are crucial for the development of a child's spiritual foundation. And it's during these years that beliefs and behaviors are formed, which will often stick with the person for the rest of their life. This service of dedication is both a challenge and an acceptance of responsibility to surround these children with love and guidance so that when they become accountable for their own actions, they will consciously and deliberately accept Jesus Christ as their personal Savior. God has given these parents a wonderful gift. I know that there are probably times when they question that gift, but they are a wonderful gift, believe me. Our commitment as a church to the family is that we stand ready to help them and support them. First, we have Chris and Meredith Alexander present their son, William Landry. Rich and Stephanie Bricker, along with Big Brother William, present Charlie Edward. Drew and Brooke Burnett, along with Big Brothers Brooks and Moses, present Isaiah Andrew. He must see somebody he knows. Matt and Morgan Clark present their son, Malachi Lawrence, and their daughter, Ava Lee. Dan and Allison Maurer, along with big brothers Manny and Emilio, present Nico Daniel. Jonathan and Danielle Brudig, along with big brother JD, present Benjamin Mitchell. David and Amy Steger, along with Big Brother Sam, present Luke Price. Shane and Kristen Trent, along with Big Brother Copley, present Caroline Emerson. Why don't you join me in welcoming these families? I would like for all of the grandparents and kinfolks of all this bunch stand up. We got four generations here for some of these, and I appreciate so much your willingness to be here and be a part of that. Thank you so much. Um, let me just say to you, uh, I got so upset this week listening to the rhetoric about family, okay? But I'm saving that till July. I, I didn't want to mess up Mother's Day, okay? But I'm glad to know our president has evolved, you know? I mean, my soul. But I want to tell you, don't miss July, okay? Don't miss July. All right, I'm just telling you. But see, while those other people are arguing about it, you're proving a truth. And that is God's way is still the best way. Amen? Amen? And that's, that's what I love about you. That's what I love about this kind of a moment. Because the rest of them, they can go argue all they want to. They can go discuss and they can go do all this crazy stuff. But standing in front of us this morning is the hope of the future, folks. This is the hope of the future for this country. And these are the people who are going to make it happen. These boys and girls are going to grow up in a different world than I grew up in. But it's going to be a great world because of you as parents. You're gonna make a difference in their lives. You're gonna be their teachers. You're gonna be their inspiration. Dad, you're gonna lead. You're gonna teach them about Jesus. You're gonna lead them to faith in Christ. And this generation is gonna rise up and they're going to stand and they're going to be an example of what God had in mind when he said for this cause, a man shall leave father and mother and shall cleave unto his wife, and the two shall be one flesh. You are our hope. Don't ever forget that. The challenge is great, but our God is greater. Amen? Our God is greater. So cherish these children. Bring them up to love Jesus, to love the Word, to love the church. And God willing, we can raise another generation who will bring revolution and revival, not only to our nation, but to our world. God bless you.
You are my hope. You are our hope. And I want to pray for you. Father, I thank you this morning for dads and moms who love you, who love your word, who love the church, and who love their children. And Father, I pray for wisdom. I pray for discernment. I pray for courage that they would raise these children in the nurture and admonition. They would teach them and they would train them and they would love them through you. Father, I pray that your, your love would be so evident in these homes and that these boys and girls will grow up to be champions for you, that they will challenge a world that has turned away from you and they will be the lights in the darkness and they will be the salt in the wound. So Father, honor these families. Show favor to these families that they can rise up and call you blessed. It's in the name of Jesus who loves us all, I pray. Amen. God bless you folks. I am so proud. I am so proud. Well, it's a very special day, isn't it? What would today happen to be? Mother's Day. And I hope everybody's had an opportunity to make that call or to tell that mom, happy Mother's Day. If you are a mother, will you stand? Moms, single moms, will you stand? Happy Mother's Day to all you ladies. <laughs> <laughs>